Hey there, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate an eye in After Effects. So let's start. So this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson and this is how I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator. Ok now let's jump on to After Effects. So let's create a new composition window in After Effects. Now let's name the composition. I am keeping it 1920 to 1080 as the resolution of the composition and I am giving it 30 frames per second and press OK. Now let's import the illustrator file. So I am clicking and dragging it on the timeline. Ok so now I am going to click this reflection layer to this eye back and let's pre-comp it and name it i1. So we are going to animate only one eye and we can copy the composition and we can get the other one. Okay, so right now we are going to select eye white, eye back and right click on it, create, create shape from vector layer and I'm going to delete the illustrator file and let's rename it and remove outline from the name. So now I am going to copy this I white and copy it two times. Let's name one I led one or I led up and the other one I led down. Okay, I'm going to select this two and put it above the reflection layer and I'm going to change the fill color and pick this one. Okay, now I'm going to apply track mat on this particular layer. So for that, I'm turning on the effects and presets panel. And type in set mat. And I'm going to change this one to eye white. This one also apply set mat on the eye laid down and change the set mat to this one. Okay. Now I'm going to open the path property and slightly move one upwards like this and the other one I'm going to move the path and select this vector, select this vertex and move it down like this. And we can also apply set mat on the retina and reflection as well. So for that I'm going to copy this effect. Select this four layers and paste it. And don't forget to Turn on the rasterize if you were using applying it on illustrator layers. Alright, now let's animate an eye blink. So for that, I'm going to open the path of these two eye, eyelid up and eyelid down. And I'm also going to jump on to next 5 frames and start our animation from this point. So I'm going to put path property at this particular time and again I'm going to jump on to next six frames and pull this below like this same with this one okay I'm going to select it and put it somewhere around here and I'm going to select this vertex and pull it around here. Now I'm going to jump on to next four frames and I'm going to put the same keyframe and then again jump on to next six frames and copy the initial keyframes and test it and select the keyframes and erase it. Now 
we can even move the move the retina a bit as well so for that i'm going to select retina one retina stroke and this uh, reflection and parent it with retina one so when it is closed i'm going to pull it pull the whole retina portion down a bit so i'm going to open the position property of retina four and at this point i'm going to pull it down a bit so at this point it will be in this position and then again i'm going to copy the initial position and paste it and select the keyframes and easy is it perfect so let's check out our animation so now i'm going to vary the size of this inner black portion a bit so i'm going to open the scale property and at this particular point i'm going to put a scale and i'm going to jump on to next eight frames and let's scale it slightly down and at this point i'm going to scale it up a bit so let's easy is it and i'm going to move the keyframes a bit far now let's add a null layer over here i'm going to change the position of the anchor point at the middle and i'm going to move the null layer and place it over here okay i'm going to select all the layers and exclude these two layers and this one as well and parent it with null so if we move the null layer everything moves together and I'm going to open the position property of the null and after it blinks I'm going to pull it down a bit in the y-axis and at this point it will be at the initial position so let's copy select the keyframes and easy is it let's check our animation so right now let's jump on to next six frame and i'm also going to animate the eye and change its expression a bit so i'm going to first of all put the same keyframes and then jump on to next eight frames and at this point i'm going to move the retina four and place it somewhere around here and also let's scale it a bit and also i'm going to move the retina slightly on this side so for that first of all put a position on the retina 2 and then move this move the retina at this particular point so we are also going to add keyframe on the position of the reflection as well all right now i'm going to put a keyframe on the path at this particular point of the eye white and at this particular point let's change the path of the eye white and let's give it an angry look so i'm just changing the bezier handles and giving it an angry look something like this all right so i'm going to do the same with the eye backside as well this yellow shape so i'm going to put a keyframe on the path and again a keyframe on the initial pose and let's change the path a bit
all right now you can see that there are some ships that are visible something like this these are nothing but the eyelids so we need to fix it up as well so i'm going to open the path property of the eyelid and put a keyframe at the initial position same with the eyelid down as well and at this position we are going to change the eyelids so that it is not visible at this areas all right so let's check our animation now we can even move the null position as well so for that i'm going to slightly move it like this and let's jump on to the mid position and i'm going to slightly move it down as well so that uh, it gives some curvature to the motion path perfect okay now again let's get back to its initial position so i'm going to select all these layers press u to open the properties with the keyframes and i mean i'm going to put keyframes in all of these properties perfect and let's jump on to next six frame and i'm going to just uh, copy the initial keyframes and paste it over here all the initial keyframes i'm going to copy and paste it at this position now let's check our whole animation okay so like this you can animate an eye in after effects now let's jump on to this composition and if we just copy this and put it over here we can get the eye of the other side and let's delete it and let's check it from this window as well okay now if you want to turn this animation into a loop animation then at this particular point the animation is ending and at this particular point the animation is starting so i'm going to open the time remapping enable the time remapping put a keyframe at this particular position then i'm going to jump onto this composition window move the playhead and put the playhead at the end of the keyframes where the animation is ending and jump onto this composition and put a keyframe at this position and delete all the other keyframes on this time remapping there is one at the start and one at the end of this composition window now i'm going to apply a loop expression which is loop in plus loop out minus the value okay now let's check out our animation okay so like this you can animate an eye in after effects you can even add more expression to your eye and even add more secondary animation to it so do try it on your own and let me know if you have any doubt regarding the lesson so that is it for this lesson hope you liked it if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye